Well, we move into the grain markets now on Farm Week, focusing on wheat. There is limited upside potential for prices here, according to some traders. We discuss the situation in our market interview this week. Ron Williams has been looking over the wheat market, and we've had an uptick in the last 10 days or so. Wheat futures now back above $5. Are the lows in for this market? Well, potentially. Uh, looking at the market, the wheat has been trending up since about the first part of September. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think we've at least hit a temporary low. Well, are there any particular factors that brought about this bounce in wheat? Well, there's a couple little things that are, that are coming into play. A week ago, um, the USDA re released a report that, that give U.S. production uh, lower numbers than, than what they had previously been expecting. But also, we kind of see a seasonal trend at this time of year as, as the market tries to buy in a few more wheat acres. As far as uh, wheat plantings, winter wheat plantings, are those appearing to be on track as far as the projections? They're fairly close. They're, they're a little bit behind average, but not too much. Uh, looking at the latest USDA report, uh, about 49% of the U.S. wheat crops in the field, uh, and uh, the five-year average is about 51%. What about in the world globally? Are we still looking at a lot of wheat carryout? That was the case for a while. Yeah, right now we have um, some, some real large carryout globally, plus in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. crop is the, the largest carryover since 2009, 2010, and then globally we've had three, three record years of production. Now, in terms of being competitive, is uh, the U.S. wheat, the price, is it still rather expensive compared to what's available in the world? It is. Um, one report that I saw uh, just a couple days ago was, was saying that Egypt had purchased wheat from Russia and Ukraine for about a dollar less than what they could get it shipped out from the U.S. for. So it's... So this doesn't bode well as far as our export business for wheat? No, and, and the other thing that's playing into that is with, with kind of the uncertainty globally um, with, with the economy, a lot of investors are seeing the U.S. dollar as, as a, a safe bet, and so that's strengthened the dollar and it makes our exports more expensive for the rest of the world. Is there any marketing advice you might share with producers right now, given where we are? Well, looking at the market, it looks like for maybe for the next couple of months, we might see an uptrend. But given the, the large stocks that we have and the weakness in the exports, I think that upward potential is somewhat limited. So, you know, now is a good time for producers to at least be looking and thinking about potentially marketing their, their crop. So the legs under this uh, market right now are kind of weak, a little bit shaky maybe. Yeah, I mean, we've seen an uptick, but the potential for it, I think, is, is real limited.